Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prashoff and we're back again with part 2 of an incorrect summary value ring by Max. So let's go. Y'all told me it's better than part 1, which is kind of wild because part 1 was awesome. Let's see. Do not play this video in the dark, it is very scary. Ah, uh, the lands between. So between beautiful, what? so tranquil. No, they Until ain't. I showed up. Welcome back everyone to Elden Ring, one of the hey. games of all time. Featuring it deep role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, cool they math games, them. happy we hosts, and probably- By the way, that guy that we saw there, I hope he is featured in this video, he probably will be, has the best voice lines in the game. Together as family. Story I love so that convoluted guy. that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you about it. I do not know much about the lore, but I do know one thing. Melania is definitely the blade of Mikola. When and we last undefeated. left off, we had endured great pain and suffering in our quest to destroy the cast of Percy Jackson. But Percy do not Jackson. worry, the pain has only just begun. And if you somehow haven't seen the first part, then uh that's fine. I have also seen Jojo. So with the Elden Ring shattered and scattered among America's inbred dipshits, it's time to tear our way through enemies aplenty, attempt to find a girlfriend, almost impossible, and test the truth. That girl is not the girlfriend material we wanted, okay? Strength That's of all my I gotta say. Because this will be our greatest challenge yet, and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game. True. True. Hey, plus Duxy Soaps. Set one. Whoa. Wait, I don't remember that being in the in the game. I don't think anybody offered to have, you know, the sex with me. Last time on Blatant Copyright Infringement Fair Use Edition, we struggled to take Grandpa off his life support with violence, yes. delivered Garfield with his precious lasagna, and finally convinced Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with nuclear fire. I'm dead serious. Wow, that was a fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving hey. at a real breakneck speed. You know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significantly bigger. I'm not sure yes. if the developers are okay. It's that is pretty much how the game works. You think it's over, and then it unlocks like five new levels. Then you think it's over, and it unlocks five new levels. Then you think it's over, and it presents to you Melania. And you're stuck on her for like eight hours. Congratulations. Especially since they're trapped in the same room as that man. It turns out nuclear weapons are a great Batman. way to excavate the earth and there are no long-term consequences. Which means we've got nope. an entirely new area to explore, Batman. hiding oh, just oh. beneath our feet. And no, we're not going to visit the Blue Man group again. I still have the nightmares. Ow. Wait a second, this is Michigan. I need to leave as soon as possible. Hello, traveler. Ah, it's a woman. I'm possessed of four <laughs> arms and that is what tickles thy fancy? Pringles can. Are thou of no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can can you throw yourself into a wood chip? Listen, I have never seen- I don't seen think they were invented yet, woman. A caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, go white boy, go. Okay. <laughs> I shall need thy help to run my errands. May I ask why? No, I'm going through a tunnel right now. Your signal is breaking up. Oi. I apologize for that. I may not have known at the time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit makes Blighttown look like a playground. Welcome oh, everyone to the Nether Fortress. It's three rooms long and filled with naked oh. and hostile women, which is my preferred enemy. And they suck. Me. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime we kill don't shoot the cats. Them and if that's a little too intense for you, don't cats. worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact myself. Me. I am the boss of the level. Easiest boss in the game. He absolutely sucks. Hey, what's up guys? Max over here. We're out here going after Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced Shadow to fight Peter the Pan. only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking smack down on Dark Link. This battle is a unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him Wait, for the you whole can? fight. He literally cannot damage me in this state. Not that you would need That's it. Because up. if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. <laughs> this boss's weakness is naked anime women. But overall, it was Bro. a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined my life. Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey guys, I built an entire torture chamber for animals in hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I exterminate the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like if you well, showed this video to- Do you do what? 
Victorian child, he would die instantly. And speaking of dying, we've returned again to Jump Scare Junction. That's right, I Jump lied scare. to you. I give Dora the wrong directions. This area is an identical copy of the next last door. time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemy. Wait, there's another area like this? How many stuff did I miss in this goddamn game? I feel like I did most of everything. And the exact same boss, but this time he's glowing. Just like this video. Now don't get me wrong, I love beating Canadians to death, but why? Please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture. Now as for the rest of the area, it's pretty nice, you know, kinda short, introduces Wait. the brand new sapient sphere type enemy. That's okay though, I too have seen Steel Ball Run. But what I really want to find is this knife, which is a surprise tool that late. will help us later. With this, I may now cause many kitchen nightmares. Let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now. Not you, though the alternative isn't much better. <laughs> hey, hey, Tarnish. And yeah, so hi. again. I see you've come to me with londonbinknife.png. So you know what it is then? No. Ah, so there's a lot of versions of that one. Huh? But if you desire a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch in her Carian call center. Only then can you rebate your purchase. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash the is strong beyond gash. belief. Uh... I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. Just imagine, Set. Tarnished, what those four armpits must smell I'm like. I'm going to leave Welcome everyone to Horrors Beyond Comprehension, a land of- Those enemies are the worst enemies in the goddamn game. They fucking suck. The hands, as it were. The fainting the hands. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical artillery using my immense skill. This place, however, is, is anything but safe. I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply need to get through it, but you will lose yes. a part of yourself. There are hands yes. everywhere, in the ground, on the ceiling, and within my nightmares. They are 90% of the enemies, and the remaining 10% kind of remind me of myself in a really strange way. My name is Yoshikage Kira. I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom, and one of those implications, uh, kinda, kinda slaps, you know, like a hand. I too would kill myself if I was written by J.K. Rowling. I can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on Google <sighs> because I keep getting this fucking echidna. Human Knuckles, knuckles just makes it worse. Now, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? No. Did I see shaved hairy knuckles? That was a disgusting Yeah. Game. So after dealing wow. with my Oni-chan and killing the Thank only normal Maxwell. people for miles, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. Yes. It's a pretty easy fight. I've always wanted to kill a white woman. Also, I'm available at this address. This fight is actually an iteration of the previous Tree Sentinel boss, so it's a really good thing that I beat him. You could say I have a lot of practice with the move set. This time, however, we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't. Bro, listen, if you are struggling against this boss fight, learn from me. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do what you do against 90% of Dark Souls bosses circle the asshole and shut the fist in there belong in the battlefield. Works. They belong in the McDonald's uh, menu. I can't even turn the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or will see in five minutes. The magic earns her a really comfortable spot in B tier right next to herself, but that is a story for uh, part 19. So yep. for now, I'm just gonna send her to a farm upstate. Her By the way, I've played this game for uh, 130 hours and uh, haven't slotted a spell. Jesus. Now, as a full metal consequence of my vehicular manslaughter, we have consequence. finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the writing on this one. I just don't really care for the uh, Blythe arc where he eats the classroom. But to get to that, we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the copy-paste key. If we the can teach magic dragon. to fucking dragons and dogs, I don't even know why we try. The most powerful wizards can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh, he, uh, 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 yep. he, he's gone. He has yep. chosen peace. That's what he I guess does. all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School so Toyota I can finally meet the love of my life. Oh, ah. How the fuck did you do that? Do what? Oh, she says, her Boy. long hair swaying in the oh. Among Us Morbius Among Us sus. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh. Is all of this necessary, Max, or come on, brother? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. Tell you what, I'm also in the business of killing God. Ah. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join or not? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. Wonderful. Your first mission is to kill Fair my brother, enough. Satan. You can find him Satan. inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of Wait. you is dead. Is that true lore? Is he actually her brother? I don't remember that being mentioned at any point. 
Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can talk to my sleep paralysis demon. Greetings, Tarnish. Oh god, not him. It is I, Brian Dawn, from Family Guy. Please leave me alone. I'm not really here right now, so please- ah, God please damn it, it's an answering tone. machine. Tone. Please record your message. Finally, it's time to continue the playing the game. And to get to the aforementioned volcano, we must first ascend. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have elevate my date with Roddy Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. Thank God, the mountain of death is... There is actually two ways to go there. I did not use the elevator. There's a, you know, you go around through some caves and then you fight some harpies and then you are there. Wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning Oof. to get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So we enter the absurdly large elevator, custom built and designed Dictus. for the new American male, and place our keys in the ignition like a sedan. Welcome every pony bazinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic tree house. I originally meant to hey, go to Bonner. the volcano immediately, but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are two paths we can take to traverse this area. The road of pain proper, or our bright civilization, or the forest of immaculate pain. Those two dudes, pain. You know, I did both of them, but this one is funnier. Welcome everyone to the Worm People Dimension, a region People. totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, the inhabitants the have a special dudes. status effect called death, yeah. and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully, and uh, there's quite a few of them. My favorite yeah, example is definitely Wormface, who is called that for no reason. All of his Wait, attacks are basically insane. There is an actual boss called Wormface. God damn it, one more thing that I missed. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be sneaking into Big Shell. Raiden, you have to stop the Facebook algorithm, it's giving people pronouns. So after navigating the Impaled Jail, or just teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge, because, uh... He is there. So for the next part of our journey, we make our way to the Windmill Village, which is, uh... I remember this place. Ah, Skinny is here. Fun time. You know, I may be a fan of older women, but this is a bit much. These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement center. Midsummer? Honestly, this area is pretty dope as long as you don't make them angry. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now- Just kill them. Now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you. Just like Dio and his stand. Welcome back, everyone. These bosses have some of the best boss music in the whole game. And I'm saying this boss is for a reason, okay? You'll find out later, probably. Onto the official IGN walkthrough. And today we're gonna be fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things worse, we have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist Oof. before, but thankfully, the priest was better at the game than me, Oof. so uh... Did he just bury him? Holy shit! He just buried the boss! I didn't know you could do that. We have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist before, but thankfully the priest was better at the game than me, so uh... He buried him! That's not the last time we're gonna see him, although I wish it was. Yes, so with Friedrich Fastbear once pizza. again confined to his pizzeria, we approach the fabled gate of healthy eyeballs, and after being welcomed very nicely by the residents, ah. we catch a glimpse of our next destination. The Where next destination he? hurts my eyes. All you have to know is that I really want to oh, get there because I am a mom. He went the opposite way of which I went. I went around this place, he went uh, in this place. And also this anime girl. Naturally, my first instinct was to head to the front door, like the feds outside my house, idea, but these but... instincts were not correct. Correct. Nope. Also, some people say my videos are too fast, so here's a dog. So instead of whatever that is, we need to take the side route to get in. I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish deeds. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded, most powerful yes. enemy of the entire game. That's right, the copy paste powerful. key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. <laughs> yeah, he's got a complete new moveset. And, oh yeah! His goddamn horse breathes fire. Because, of course he does. It's a horse. Uh, they obviously do that. Battle is really difficult. Not because the moveset is new, but because I have exhausted my horse jokes. To put this another way, he's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different ah. this time around, though, except for the damage. That is very yes. good. This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticize the Chinese Redmi? government. Overall, though, this boss is a very cool so skin down. and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using my horse, just like the Mongols. Nice. Absolutely peak game design just right like here. I'm very impressed. 
One second, guys, I need to answer my phone. So, with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, it's finally time to head inside. Ooh, this is that? what we've been building up for, for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. Great start. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. My memory completely blocked off that he must go in the sewers. Oh god, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, up to this point, I had forgotten those 5 hours of just going around in the sewers. Worst part of the whole game. By Welcome far. everyone to Listerine, Royal Capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys my ears. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking inescapable. We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level in the form of my tinnitus. Look at this shit. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit all of that. The entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I am six feet under. Enter the buildings, peruse the streets, find new enemies and die to them. We've got yes. a little bit of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game Portland. is Dark Souls 4, 5, and fucking 6. So I ask again, sure. are the developers okay? Do they sleep? So Probably after not. our encounter with band class, we move throughout the city, becoming acquainted with its welcoming residents. And there are so many different paths that yes, it's actually hard are. to talk about. You can go down the like streets the and die, go through the storm drain and be dragged to the depths of hell. With a actual hell. It is actual hell. Catholics go. Or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm. I hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience. Just don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men. Seriously, this is an entire dungeon in and of itself and it's more convoluted and conf- No, it's not one dungeon. It's like three dungeons inside of one dungeon inside of a labyrinth. To hell. Using then a woman. I want to get off Mr. Miyazaki's wild ride. Please let me see my family. But that is a story for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. It's I will monk. have to deal with him later, preferably after he stops dealing with me. Yeah, so once I finish up so bringing the garden and becoming one with the graveyard, we ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing railings because I am stupid. And also Ooh. this anime. Speaking of which, here's the uh, next boss. He just it's kind God of appears there. Gotta fight Casper the Unfriendly Piss. <laughs> Now, I could get into this boss, maybe talk about how he helped my insides experience fresh air, but he is uh, very phoned in, and we're going to get quite familiar with him yep. later. And also, he uh, yep. has a stand, so that's how you know he's gay. He has a stand which he does not actually use at all. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. I've always had a grudge against that guy. After all, he made the British Isles, and some crimes cannot be forgiven. Ah, if it isn't my old friend, oh God, the fight. tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks no paper. How are you alive exactly? How are you still single? Oh. Once I called the demigod's family. But that was before I became racist. Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, yo, yo, we're gonna hear that later, brother. You sure you wanna say that line now? So culture strikes again. Yeah, he oh has God, a pretty nice is good. Mindset. Like, really fucking good. I just didn't sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up white boy do be busting it down sexual style, and his secret sexual is methamphetamine. Style. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. Faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for phase huh? two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yes, I can make his weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run yeah, for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely not just the damage, although the there is a lot of that, but just how many fucking moves this man has, yes. and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls bosses were just an obese man, we were so young, but this does beg the question, why Wait, was more God just- was it 2011 Dark Souls 1? Damn. Hanging out in front of Stormvale. Was he getting his groceries? Did he use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you. And yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also hate me. So to come out on top, we've got to remain quick. Brace the inside of our asshole. And to verify our online sources with correct documentation. Because this is the hardest boss so far. And the easiest boss for the rest of the game. So whether we're delivering yes, pizza or attempting deicide. Yes, Morgoth will bring you the Home Depot experience. Whether you're ready or not. And the answer is usually not. And he did the pussy line from the first video, I forgot about it. Oh, he got grabbed. That's not nice.
this is the editing. My god! My god, Maxor! That fight was the fucking bomb. And it's a small bomb compared to what's next. It was a hard Blasphemy fought battle, Boulevard. but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. No. Fuck, I'm going to make God pay for this. All we have to do is go through the um. Yep, no, 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 you no. don't do that. This probably has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. So, uh... Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? Oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's, uh, doing stretches. Like, For the next 5,000 years. What? Anyways, you need to, uh, burn the tree. Excuse me? You need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scaring me. The pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me! Chinese Welcome everyone what? to- Wait, wait, what? Chinese smoke factor, okay. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Mountain of Agony, both in the lore and in gameplay, but yes. mostly gameplay. Home of the oh, fifth demigod, God, Satan, literally just Satan, Lucifer, the big- Best voice actor in the whole game. D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to commit blasphemy in peace. Just one problem, we gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is, uh... Yes! A little bit linear. Perfect. I call it the Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me, but I don't know what it is. Now don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of... special. Just gotta take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It feels a bit like every level collaborated to make this one. We've got people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better spastic believe that the hands robots. are back. We even get to see see the um the handyman himself he's getting really out of that hand this time you could say that i have my hands full this is hands down the stupidest joke in the video so after climbing up a little bit you know three ladders in a row we gaze over a cliff whereupon patches just breaks my fucking skeleton i guess i have to so earlier on in the game you can meet patches i decided to kill that motherfucker and chat was like yo i was doing it on twitch people are like yo you shouldn't have done that he's a nice person in this game yes I can see that he's a nice person. Climb all the way back up. That the top of the Asshole. mountain is really fun though, especially when my hey, computer decides to work. It's like Disneyland for Victorian peasants, or just Yugoslav war criminals. criminals. I think Satan might be oh, up to oh, something, oh, oh. it's just a guess though. So, after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But at that size, it's more like a volcano-gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into, starting with the, um, Red. You know, like all the flags this is giving me. I feel like I'm inside of a gaming PC. Maybe this woman can give us more info. Hello, Tarnish. Hey, and welcome her. to the Red Manor. Let's Feeling creative go. today, aren't we? I am the virtual YouTuber of this mansion, Tanith. And this is Gug. Tanith Gug. Gug is in pain. Aren't we all? Anyway, True. can I interest you in joining the forces of Satan? We offer coupons. For what oh. exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes Tesco. Well, you know what? I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh. Oh, you don't sign, you kill. What? We crave innocent blood, traveler, and I expect a sufficient donation. After all, you are what you eat, and I am a child at heart. I think I chose the wrong voice actor. Oi, oi. Satan. Well, yes, I Well, I guess since might've. I serve Satan now, my outfit needs to get a little <laughs> edgier, and my weapons need to become a hey, little veggier. He's wearing the dudes. Armor, these aren't the only things cool. that these can feel. And as a fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. Yeah. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, half my fellow demons have scoliosis. So, uh, let's just collect our first target. You know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. What is this, son? What is this? Riley the Idol. Juno Hoslo Knight of Blood. Oh, that's the dude with the cool ass armor. Me in the circle room. So how many people do you gotta kill? Vargam Sorcerer Wilhelm.
Eran Sorcerer Wolf. I think we might be the bad guys. Just kidding. I don't think. Oh shit, wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. You have proven yourself my finest sin. My sins are unforgivable. You get to meet Satan now. No, oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Can I leave now? Have fun. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that another way to meet the boss without having to go through the bottom area that I went through? You can just do the quest line for these dudes and kill people? Uh, hi there, please play. Satan. Did you. God, Max, or please play the normal sound cue things. Fall from heaven? I don't think he liked that one. God devouring Satan. Hey guys, Maxor here, and hey. today we're gonna be trapped in, um, hell. That's right, bitches, or I'm fucking hell. Yes, we are. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins. Don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I get to meet all of my hey, favorite war crimes, such as Ronald Reagan, and also all the landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new Damn. landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell, each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now, as oh, for me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment is continuing to make this video. It is four in the morning. This now, the first thing minutes. you see in this Damn. level, and I mean the first thing, is an anger direction. This tells us that we're in the circle of lust where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of uh, Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I sure do love, love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact video very soon. Just gotta turn hey, this I'm down for that. Let's go, Max. And, uh, why is he just standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me uh, anytime later. Oh my nope. god, it's him, the Compressa Demon. Now, for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Also, ah. Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we find ourselves Damn. in the circle of gluttony, because the why residents are a bit, uh, a bit sluggish. I know, very funny stuff. It's time for some fun volcano facts with Maxor. Did you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping? Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the lava is more of a suggestion. Yeah, Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh boy, I sure do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So <laughs> after we're finished navigating the, um, kinky neighborhood, we head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists after being dragged into the storm drain. <laughs> Their Sisyphean punch punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be attending mass to steal the wine. It's fat boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my 600 pound death. And on today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not the what I meant when I said mod. I wanted jiggle physics. I think this boss- I was wondering why people kept making that joke in the video. It was streaming. This is why. May this have had a few too many uh, communion wafers. How many God of those do you it. have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body, broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute girth of this man might make you think we're in for He's a, a slower fight, but you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that, yes. and that just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And just like last time, his second face is absolute body horror. Genuinely, just the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Please consult your doctor before engaging in any Nico Kato maxing. I think that, uh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be here for a few more minutes. But finally, the bloated design. Body positivity. No, I have body negativity. Also, holy shit, this music goes hard. This yes. is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the yes. inside of a Walmart. I think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin. Come on, do it. Give me your skin. If you are God's comfortable in your own you. flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially shot Biggie Biggs, we can finally grab the um. Again. Uh, and continue again. on a route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. That's right, we're finally here. The heart of the beast, home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, uh... Washington? More ladders. But yep. honestly, it's a bit, uh... Ladders. Easy to get lost in here. Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about. Besides the, uh... Oh, yeah, the, the, the egged one, yep. just your standard committee of child skinners. The thing is, you you see one of those snake with big head, you never see them again. I'm pretty sure the game just doesn't explain shit. It's like, yep, you fought that. Now, now you know. So you know? we're just gonna know. teleport. You just know shit. Straight to the boss, which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel. Four signs, please. Oh, wait a second. Oh yeah, you're supposed to use the weapon that they give you. 
What are you doing all damage, brother? Welcome everyone to Doom Internalizing My Abuse. And today we're going to be fighting the uh we're going to be uh, the snake. uh we're going to Google how to kill him. Because as hey. it turns out, the reptile exhibit Bob, is in need of some heavy ordinance, of which I am an expert. The serpent hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit, a weapon yes, of mass is. destruction specifically built to kill just snakes. You know, like a secretary bird. It's also uh three feet from the entrance. That's yep. like giving chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just went from storm ruler to storm meter stick. This fight is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is so satisfying to use this weapon and the damage yes. is absolutely biblical my favorite part was when kane beat his brother to death with a rock the only drawback is that you are too that's your favorite part really strong and dodging him is a little easy because the snake will signal every attack by pogging but if i had to choose a boss <laughs> to be easy pogging. this one is pretty fucking up there and trust me i know about fucking up but just Ooh. ask the war crime trials I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war. I only kill people like you tomorrow. But as for this boss, his difficulty does not get in the Max, are you coming to Bulgaria? Are you sure about that? Way of the fun, of which the there is plenty. I one. think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. Plus, I am always down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this yeah, noodle from endangered way. to extinct. And now? It happens. Oh Jesus, aren't you dramatic? Let's go, family, and togetherness. Demigod of Mount Gelmir, oh, number nice. 15, Praetor Rikard. It appears that you are trying to cut off my pet snake, so in return, I will now cut off yours. The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the Serpent King as family. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Oh my fucking god. God damn it, Max Lord. That dude has the best voice lines that I have ever heard. Not in this game. In any game ever. Ever. It's finally him. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, <clears throat> welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death. And today yep. we're going to be fighting the human sentiment along with everyone here. he's ever consumed. That's right. This entire time we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. Not to mention I'm carrying the souls of four entire demigods. So I just delivered Rikard his fucking pizza. But if you want to get eating, first Wait. you have to get eaten. So all the people you kill go to this dude? Buy an immortal snake and live on him like a tumor. That's called making a deal. We'll now, as for the gameplay, it's um, a little intense. You know, kind of spooky. Kind of makes me cry. Because this boss, on top of his normal moveset, can use every snake attack, just like Metal Gear Solid. But that isn't even the dangerous part. That happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive yes. skulls at the loudest possible volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess hell was just built on a missile system. I could not... True. The thing is, though, that, uh... You can actually stun lock him to death. The the spear has a special attack that kind of stun locks him. And when he starts channeling the big explosions, you can just stun lock, stun lock, stun lock, stun lock. If you have enough mana and he dies. And then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil. I guess hell was just built on a missile system. I could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now. The best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant, but in a good way, unlike playing Valorant. Even still, this battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, and of course, the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle cool. may be long, you know, it's like cool. a, like a, like a cat, like a god damn. Does it deliver? That's okay, what is this song? Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Man, you two Jamie are a match made in hell. Match made in hell. <laughs> hey, so, uh, I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? Yeah, so, uh, where did she go? Gug. Oh. Gug. She's eating what? Wait, what? She's eating him? I, I, I never went back to him. I didn't know that's what she did. I just teleported out. I thought we were done there. I killed him.
Wow, and that's not even the final part. He hasn't seen Malik, Malika, Blade of Mikula, whatever the fuck her name is. Okay, next part's gonna be fire probably whenever that happens. Oh, god damn it, Max, this video was amazing. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Quick thank you to YouTube, YouTubers, the Patreons. Thank y'all for the support. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye. Jeez.